So today I'm going to be showing you how to get your music and songs that you've recorded using your IMT Pain app on your iPhone or iPod. Um, we're just going to launch into the app here. I'll show you the options that you do have by default. You do have a few. Um, if we go to, say, here we'll load up into a song. Eh, play, come on. There we go. Um, and I've got a lot on here. Okay, so any a song. So you've got a few options here. Um, you've got, basically, you can email it the song to a friend using the email. Uh, you can use Facebook, Twitter, or MySpace. Though, none of these options really will allow you to save this MP3 file and have it on your computer to share for your friends freely. It's all web-based, and the web-based compression that they're using is rather poor. I've, I've noticed that it degrades the sound quality a bit. So I'm going to show you a different way to get your songs off of your iPhone or iPod. So there's a few things you will need to do this. Um, you'll need a uh, stereo mini mini audio connector and it has to have as you can see if it focuses um, the two black bands that's stereo so you'll want it um, on both ends one will plug into the computer one will plug into the iPod or iPhone and that's how you're going to transfer your music to your computer so we're going to plug into the bottom of our iPhone and then we'll queue up a track so we've got our track queued up, and now we're going to plug it into the computer. So when we plug it into the computer, it has to be plugged into a line in input. Now, most computers or laptops will only have a mic or a headphone, but if you have a desktop, it should have the blue one here, which is your line in. Line in will accept amplified audio. If you try and plug this into, let's say, a microphone jack on your laptop or your computer, it's going to sound extremely distorted and garbly because it's an amplified device going into a non-amplified input, and that's not going to work very well for you. So, uh, you want to plug into the blue one here. And now, we're going to simply just record it live. So we're going to use a recording program. Uh, we've got a couple to pick from, and uh, I'll show you that here. So if you don't have any elaborate recording software on your computer, that's fine. If you're on a Windows-based machine, it'll come equipped with Sound Recorder. It's a very simple and basic sound recording software. Uh, if we open it up, you can see that simply all you've got is a button that says Start Recording. Um, you may have to go down to your audio inputs and click on Recording Devices and set Line In as your default for using this. Um, I highly recommend getting something a bit better. Uh, you can get Audacity, which is free online, so uh, I'll have a link in the description where you can find it, or you can just Google search Audacity and you'll be able to find this program. This is what we'll use. We'll open this up, and then we're going to start by going to Edit, Preferences, and we're going to click on Audio, Input, Output, and we're going to want our recording device to be set to line in. So line in right there. And we'll click OK. And we'll now go up and hit record here in Audacity and hit play on our iPod. And now you can see that the WAV format is playing out and it's being recorded by the program. And normally you just let the full song play out on your iPod there. And once it's done, you would just hit stop on Audacity. But we're just going to hit stop short early for our sake. And we're going to hit File and go to Export as WAV. Uh, you could also trim it down uh, using Audacity. Uh, like There's some dead space there at the beginning of the track that you might want to get rid of. Um, we're just going to save it here as NES Test. And we'll just save it to the desktop, minimize this. And there we go. We've got our music file on our desktop. We're going to open it up in uh, Windows Media Player. And there you go. We've got a sample of our song playing out in full glorious wave format on our computer. And we didn't have to rip it off a website in a horribly compressed and terrible sounding audio file. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, you may want to end up converting these to MP3. Uh, there's several programs you can use to do that. Uh, what I'd highly recommend would be iTunes. It's very simple to do it through iTunes. So um, anyway, uh, hopefully this helps you guys out in getting your IMT Pain songs off of your iPod or iPhone. Thanks for watching.